Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan joins us. Good morning, Robert. Steve, good morning. I mean, you're, it's just not great you're here on a day when the market's down 400. We got major questions about uh, the outlook for the Fed. But you're also the guy to have because you're a former Goldman guy. So tell us about you, the message that you're getting from markets here, the, the recent sell-off and especially the uh, 210 spread, which is, uh, I'm saying it's up a little bit this morning, but crazy that I'm saying it's up to 12 basis points between the two. What's the message of the markets, Robert? Uh, well, let me start with the 210 spread, and you've heard me say this, and I'd, I'd emphasize what, what I've been saying. The, the short end of the curve is reacting to uh, what the Fed has been saying. The longer end of the curve tells me that expectations of future growth are sluggish. Uh, and the, what I see in the stock market, and I, I obviously am a student and work with companies my entire career and, and a student of, uh, of earnings reports, I'm seeing uh, input costs are rising. Uh, tariffs is a part of it, but it's not the only part of it. And companies are, many of them are struggling to pass on those cost increases to uh, their customers, and you're seeing margin erosion. And, and we're also seeing some deceleration of expectations for next year's earnings growth, which uh, off a high base. And so when you put all that together, I just think there's a lot more uncertainty, and it's very consistent with what I hear from companies I talk to and what we see in our surveys. And I think the implications for me and, and my job as a central banker, uh, I think getting to two to two and a quarter, uh, I've had a lot of confidence that we should be moving along. I think at this stage, you're gonna hear me be much more cautious and counsel patience. Uh, hmm. I think there's more uncertainty, uh, global growth decelerating. Uh, I'm seeing um, some interest rate sensitive sectors showing some weakness. It's too soon to say what to make of it. But I think this uh, one of the key tools we have as central bank is patience, and I think we ought to be using that tool. Robert, I want to give you some credit because you were talking back in mid-October about getting to the range of neutral before the leadership at the board was talking about the range of neutral. Are, are we at neutral now, possibly, or how far below it? And do you still think we need to get there? So neutral is by its nature imprecise sure. and sure. uncertain, and you're not going to see it on your screen. And so I think the range uh, at the FOMC and our longer run rate is somewhere between two and a half to three and a half. I'm at the lower end of that range. And so I, my guess is we're probably a little bit below neutral, but we're approaching it. We'll know in hindsight where neutral was, but, but I think uh, uh, normalizing monetary policy was always going to be challenging. And I think we're in the stage of this process where you're going to hear me shorten up on the prognostications uh, and be uh -huh. much more vigilant as to what's going on in the economy, but particularly not just the data, but what the outlook is and what the markets are saying about the outlook and what companies are saying. And right now, I'm just seeing a, a, a high level of uncertainty, and I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a factor in my thinking.